Hello, this is Roshni Venugopal, register number UR14 series 121. So I'll be doing the database systems lab exercise number one. Uh, our first uh, lab exercise deals with the DDL and the DML commands. And uh, here is the schema that has been given. So there are one, uh, there are five tables with a certain number of attributes in each and there are a certain values that has to be inserted into the tables. I have uh, uh, created and inserted the values uh, already and so I'll be explaining, uh, I'll be directly starting with the questions. First question is to create the work tables with the primary key constraints. The primary key constraints have been given in the create table itself but we can also give it in the alter command. So I'll be showing you how we can do that. So these are the DDL and the DML command. Uh, commands. First is create in which I have given the primary key. Uh, in alter command it's, uh, also we can give the primary key. And there is modify, rename, drop and then the next set of DDL command is rename, truncate and drop. So I will be uh, dealing with the questions now. Here I have inserted the values into the customer table and order one table, order line, product, supplier. Now the second question asks to uh, add the foreign key reference to the attribute, uh, customer attribute. So here, so we can add the mod, uh, uh, with the help of add command, we can add the constraint into the uh, table. So add foreign key, how to do that? Alter table table name, add constraint, then the constraint, fk is the constraint name that I have given. Foreign key, foreign key, this is the foreign key in the uh, child table and references is given to the customer. Now customer becomes the parent. Next is modify the attribute product finish in, uh, in the product table to product material. So in the product table, I have the column product finish. I have to rename it to product material. That can be easily done with the help of the rename command, which is uh, TDL command. So next is uh, add an attribute called price in the order line table. For adding an attribute, we can use the alter command, that is a DDL command. And using the alter command, we have done alter, uh, alter table, alter quantity. And I have added a new column uh, named price with a data type number and 6 uh, as a limit. Next is uh, add a check constraint to order quantity column and, uh, and check the quantity is about 10. So that can be easily done with the alter table add constraint. Now check is also one of the constraints and uh, the order quantity should be greater or equal to 10. Add a not null constraint to customer name not null. Not, not null is also a constraint, one of the constraints and it can be done, it can be added using modify. So modify, I have modified the column and the customer attribute which has the data type where care and now it will be not null. Next is the rename order line to order quantity. So the table name itself has to be modified. So that's why I have used the rename that is this command rename command, rename table name to new table name. So here we can see the table name to the new table name. Next is describe the structure of the customer and order table. Now the customer and the order table uh, have it described as follows over here the customer table and now you can see over here the customer name as well as ID is both not null and next is uh, order one table. Okay, so copy the customer table to a new table and um, now I have to create a new table customer1 which will, which will have the same attributes as that in customer, the original table. That can be done with the help of the as um, clause. So I have done create table customer1 as select star. So select star will select all the columns in the customer table and copy as such into the new customer 1 table. Uh, 
here I have described the customer in one table and you can see that the customer and the customer in one table are uh, same. Next is rename the table as customer1. Then grant select privilege. So uh, the select privilege, if it has to be given to another user, first we have to create a new user in the uh, uh, SQL command. After creating a new user, I can from the system user, that is the first user, I can give a, give this grant uh, the where the tables has been described and created. I can grant the select privilege to another user to uh, select to select the table the order one to another user. Now. Uh, since I have given only select privilege to the next user, he cannot insert any values into the same table. Uh, over here, I'll show you. So I have disconnected from the first user, that is the system user. Then I went on uh, and connected in the next user one, give the password, and I tried to insert some values. So the uh, Syntax is as follows: insert into system dot order one. System is the username, so username dot the table name in which you want to insert the values. So values I have inserted, but then it shows an error that insufficient privilege. Since I have given only select privilege, it wouldn't accept the, um, it wouldn't allow the user one to insert the values into the table. Next is grant insert. Grant I have grant the privilege name on the table name to user 1. So grant has been succeeded. Now next is try to delete values from the order table from user 1 and still not happen. Since I have given only select and insert privilege to the user 1, it cannot, um, he cannot delete any values from the table. So again the error shows that is insufficient privileges. Next is uh, try to insert values into the order table from user 1 and state what happens. So uh, since I have already granted the privilege to insert values into the customer table, uh, into the order table of system user, uh, user 1 is able to insert the values and the value has been created. Uh, next, uh, after granting the privileges, if I want to revoke it, I can use uh, revoke all privileges. Uh, so revoke all privileges from the user one. So I have done revoke, insert, comma, select. So these two are the privileges that I want to revoke from the user one. I have written it on on what table? On order one table from the user one. So the revoke has been succeeded. So no longer uh, user one can access uh, the system users tables and insert or select the values. Now remove all data from the customer one table. Uh, if I want to remove all the data, then I can use the truncate uh, command, which is a DDL command over you. Here you can see. So truncate table table name. I have done truncate table customer two. So I have uh, truncated the values, but the structure still, still remains. Now I want to drop the structure, and that's why I'm doing drop table table name, and thus the table has been dropped. Uh, so this is all for the first experiment and we have covered on the DDL and DMV commands along with the questions. Thank you.